this video just to show you how Grand Theft Auto looks on iPad. Now, as you can see, I have three Grand Theft Autos plus Gangster Rio on my iPad. So I'm going to show you the four of them so you guys can see how they look like. So, um, so you can see that the cheapest one wouldn't be the greatest one to get. Um, you do get what you pay for pretty much in these games. So, we're, um, so I'll just go to GTA 3. So we're just gonna skip through this one as well. This one, the startup's not nearly as long as Chinatown Wars, which is kind of annoying. So between the graphics, Chinatown Wars, and this one, um, this one's way better. Just everything. This one's my favorite one from all of them. Um, the controls, as you can see, you're not moving your tablet around to drive. You're just tapping on the arrows that you see on your left side. Okay. So you can see all your controls on the screen right now. I'm just gonna get out of the car for now and just walk around and show you guys that it's just like Grand Theft Auto where you see on um, PlayStation. Okay. So same thing, once you get in the car, you can also turn the radio on and all that stuff. That was pretty neat since the first one came out. Um, okay, so I'm just going to drive through this a little bit more so you guys can get a feel for it. So same thing, if you make a mess, you get five stars and so on, and tanks will come after you. Um, Obviously, after getting the, the six stars. So in that way, it's the same thing. Um, it is a bit harder, I would say, to get away from police on this than it was on PlayStation, for example. You can also pick up weapons, uh, fight people like the Mafia get some weapons so there's a weapon right there just get to it and start shooting some people okay so I'm just gonna pause it I'm gonna go to the next one okay so the next one is GTA Vice City uh, the gra graphics in this one look a little bit better um, however, I found it to be kind of laggy. So as you can see this one, um, the lagginess that you will see on the screen right now, it's not as laggy as it actually is. Since I'm airplaying this, um, sometimes it becomes a lot more laggy than what you actually see on my iPad. Um, airplay is not the best thing to do for games, since you will get this lag. Um, especially to your computer, if you're airplaying it to your Mac, um, this type of lag that you will see, so very laggy. Okay, so once again, it's not that laggy on my iPad. It's a little bit laggy, but not that much. It's uh, a little bit too much what we're seeing on the screen right now. However, you guys can get a feel from what I'm looking at and how the game is. So the graphics are a little bit better. It's all about the graphics, the feel for it, all the GTAs are good, except for Chinatown Wars. It's a little bit too simple, so I wouldn't waste my money on that one. I would just go for this one or maybe GTA 3. Uh, one of my favorite ones I'm going to show you right now is... ...game in Rio. It's... Uh, a little bit different since you're actually moving your iPad side to side just like other racing games that you played um, you will have to move your iPad in order to drive so I'm just gonna show you that okay because of my airplane um, this looks a little bit too stretched as you know iPads are not this stretched up but it's trying to adjust it to be on my iPad. Now this game, I have to say, doesn't lag at all. So whatever lagginess that you see on this right now, it's because the airplay that I'm doing and um, not because of the game. 
this game I have to say it does not lag. If it lags on you, um, it might just be that you have way too many apps open. However, it shouldn't lag that much, just like almost nothing. Um, it should be noticeable. I'm just gonna cut off. So this actually is my favorite one. It's not GTA one, but it's basically the same thing. You have the same type of missions. Um, obviously you're a gangster. You can steal stuff. Um, it's just the same thing, basically. However, I do think the controllers are a little bit better. It's a little bit better made for iPad than um, the other GTA uh, games. Um, however, if you're looking for GTA one, because they're wicked, then just any of them would do it, GTA 3 or GTA um, Vice City. Um, like I said, Chinatown Wars, although you guys couldn't see it, um, I will put it in the end of the video, because it takes so long to start up. Um, you guys will see that it's pretty basic. Like I said, it was one of the first ones, so you, you don't get this type of view that you see right now, or these graphics. So I'm going to close this app up, and we'll see if this lags. Okay. So, luckily it didn't crash. The airplane to your MacBook's not the greatest idea. Um, that's it for this. Um, I will give you a glance of GTA Chinatown Wars. If you guys have patience, I'll try to forward this on the video. Okay, so this is the look that you get from Chinatown Wars. As you can see, it's much simpler. Uh, there's no real 3D effects on it. And you always have this type of view that's aerial. So this GTA, when it came out, I did play it quite a bit. Um, I never got used to it that much since it was very, very different from PlayStation version of it. So that's this one. So if you like the look of this one, it's fine. I mean... You can still play this type of game if you like a uh, more simple look into it. But once again, it is one of the first ones that came out. So what I recommend is Gangster Rio or or Vice City is my second favorite. And well, it's between Vice City and GTA 3. Those those two are pretty good. I just like GTA 3 because it doesn't lag ever. And uh, Vice City does lag sometimes. Not as much as you saw it on the video once again. That's just my airplay. And um, Gangster Rio, I just found it easier to play. And not just easier, but um, it just makes more sense with your iPad. So. Uh, there's another one that just came out, which is Gangster Vegas. I will be making a review about these other ones, a uh, separate review. And you can play these on your iPhone, as well as your iPad, so not just your iPad. You can always play these on your iPhone. Um, I have played some of these on my iPhone. Not the most comfortable thing to do, but it's alright. And that's it for this review, guys. If you guys like the video, or if you have any comment suggestions, write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.